The Ministry of Defense has issued a request for information for the procurement of self-propelled air defense gun missile system, that will consist of a combination of both guns and missiles mounted on a single or dual tractor wheeled 8x8 high mobility vehicle. It will have the capability to engage various types of aircraft attack helicopters UAVs UCAFs and cruise missiles with a minimum range of 6.5 km. It will have a low radar cross-section 3D acquisition come fire control radar, an electro-optical fire control system and a fire control computer. And the system should be capable of acquiring and tracking targets while on the move, and effectively engaging aerial targets with the gun during movement and with the missile during short halts. Ahead of August 2023 deadline, Spanish state-owned shipbuilding firm Navantia has submitted a bid for the construction of six advanced conventional submarines on the Project 75I, and its bid is estimated to be valued at over $5 billion, which places them in competition with Germany's to encrypt marine systems for the lucrative contract. Navantia will collaborate with Larsen and Dubro, and has offered its 3,200-ton SAT Plus class submarine equipped with a sea-proven AIP system, but it is unclear whether Navantia is proposing a vertical launch system, as the S-80 design was always intended to be compatible with land-attack cruise missiles fired from the torpedo tubes. The DRDO is developing an advanced 120mm smoothbore main gun for the next generation main battle tank, that will incorporate cutting-edge features like autonomous threat engagement, electromechanical gun stabilization technology for accurate target engagement, self-obturating breach mechanism, and threat-based ammunition selection that will enable the tank crew to select ammunition based on the type of threat, ensuring optimal firepower and penetration capabilities. It will also utilize an advanced target identification and tracking technology, allowing the next generation tank to engage enemy targets autonomously with high precision and efficiency. The Archer NG armed UAV which had started fabrication process of first three prototypes in early 2023, has now reached an advanced stage, and officials have confirmed that the first flight of this armed UAV will take place in the next three months. The program will have a quick turnaround, as all major sensors, components and subsystems have been derived from the TAPAS program. The development phase will be over by early 2026, and will enter series production in 2027. The Bengaluru-based private sector company New Space Research and Technologies is gearing up to conduct the first flight test of a tube-launched loitering munition. It weighs less than 7 kilograms, and is designed for a range of over 30 kilometers, and has an impressive endurance of 60 minutes. The electro-optic payload will enable target identification and facilitate intelligence surveillance and reconnaissance missions, and it can also be armed with heat and thermobaric warheads. The tube-launched loitering munition will be deployed using a disposable tube launcher, which enhances its practicality and reduces logistical complexities. The Indian Navy has decided to equip 14 frontline warships with the indigenous vertical launch short-range surface-to-air missile, including the INS Vikrant and INS Vikramaditya aircraft carriers. The VLS Assam is based on the Astra Mark 1 air to air missile, that has been enhanced with the addition of thrust vectoring, that can neutralize high speed airborne targets within a range of 50 km. The missiles will be stored and operated from specially designed compartments, ensuring controlled conditions for the weapon system, while also improving the shelf life of the missiles.